Welcome back then everyone, it's time for the next heat race of the day. It is heat number three, it is the juniors who've made their way out. This is the Mobile One SEK QLD Finale here at Ipswich Car Club and the juniors come out for their heat race. In one, Geordie Slater. Out of two, Zach Phil from three, Hayden Crosley from four, Finn Woodley from five, Ashley Menzies and from six, Georgia Yeadon. That's how they line up. So now they'll uh, just slow it down a little bit. Georgia will catch them back up as they head through into the flip-flop now. And they'll see Georgia behind them, so they'll, they'll slow down, I'm pretty sure. I hope they'll slow down anyway. Geordie Slater, though, from the front with Zach Phil. Behind them, Finn Woodley and Hayden Crosley. Menzies off that rear of the grid, but was fast in the last one. And Georgia Yeadon will try and get after them. All righty, here we go then. So they have slowed down sufficiently and Georgia will catch them up down into Askins. Here we go then, this is the juniors. Heat number three, 10 laps of racing about to get underway as they go down the back straight, all formed up now. Ready to go. This time we'll get a green light start. The flag will be dropped by none other than the super racer, Craig Nissen. Here we go then, round they come, steadily through Force Phantom, on to JLA the sweeper, ready to go racing, this time they've got to put the foot down, we go green do we? We are away and racing, away we go, ah, three wide, into one, oh no, Crosley, he went up the middle, he made it three wide, but unfortunately, a little tap of the wheel and around he went, so Crosley unfortunately has gone to the back, and now he's going to chase the pack. There he is. He will be distraught with himself, having been turned around in Mobile One. But it is Slater, the ever-present Rocket, who's got the whole shot from Phil. Behind Phil now, Menzies. Got ahead of Woodley. Menzies, he's having a cracker run. Ashley Menzies, what a drive from Menzies so far up to P3. Can he hold it, though? Finn Woodley trying to get after him. Woodley, oh, Woodley close up on the brakes but not close enough. Back towards us they'll come, still Slater from Zach Phil, then Menzies, Woodley, Ashley though, Ashley Menzies holding, holding, but now Finn Woodley goes around the outside, he'll try and take it, yes he does, Finn Woodley goes up to P3, Menzies goes back one, Crosley now chasing hard, Georgia Yeaton, is off at the back and chasing them down. So here we go. Menzies now got a battle on his hands with Woodley. Can he hold him? Right, they're going to RHQ. Leaders coming up towards me already. Jordy Slater from Zach Phil. Then Finn Woodley. Then Menzies. Ashley holding, holding still. But now he's got Crosley closing him down. And Crosley won't give up until he's caught them. Crosley then is going to get after that pack and get up to him as quickly as he can to try and make some more moves. There goes out Georgia Yeaton. So Georgia goes through. Kept it straight this time. Meanwhile, the leader's already coming back towards us. Down the bills, but past the mechanical main straight away. Still it is. Slater from Phil, from Woodley, from Menzies. Round they all go through, Mobile One. Then Crosley in pursuit. What's the gap back to Crosley? 9.643. Nine point six four three from Crosley to the leader. Can he bring that gap down? He's in hot pursuit. Menzies will be his first target as Menzies goes up towards Patrizes now. Following Woodley, they've done two laps and down they head towards Askins. Crosley chasing hard the number twenty-eight car. He's doing fifty-nine point eight three seven. He will have to go quicker. Into Askins then, down the back straight he goes, well the leader's already coming back towards me, Slater. Looking comfortable at the moment, round he comes, through the JLA sweeper. On to Bill from Boston Mechanical Services and Finn Woodley. Still holding his own in P3. Slater, the 
Carlo, what a cracker drive from Slater. He is ragging that number 80, 88 car. Doesn't look like he's gonna be caught today at all. So Jordy Slater is flying. Up the hill he goes, into Patrese's. Slater, Phil, Woodley, Menzies. They all go through and head down. Joe Askins walks back up towards me, comes Crosley and he's going backwards. Crosley is not getting any closer. Looks like the pace in the cart is not there this time. After the drama on the finish start lane, start finish line, he is having an issue. Meanwhile, through the flip flop goes the number seven, Georgia Eden. Georgia then into Electro, through she goes. Onto RHQ and up towards me into Patrese's. He's on to her fifth lap now, whilst the leaders come back towards us. Slater holds Woodley, still pushing and pushing hard. Can he get to Zach Phil though? That's the question. Zach Phil at the moment looks comfortable in P2. Phil could still catch the leader. Remember last time round he got faster and faster towards the end of the race. That's what he'd be hoping to do. And at the moment, 57-8 to a 57-3 to the leader, Jordy Slater. So right now, Jordy Slater is doing everything he needs to do to stay in front and does not look like he will be caught anytime soon. Round they come, round the sweeper. Heading on to mobile one then. Slater still from Phil, Woodley, Menzies, Crosley, Yeadon, that's the order. There is Yeadon, through she goes. Here comes Slater, he's done five laps, this is his six. Jordy goes through, Zach Phil goes through. Finn Woodley goes through. Menzies tried all he could to stay with them. Couldn't quite stay with the pace in the end. Sure he'll settle for a good fourth place though. Ahead of Crosley this time, and Crosley I don't think he's gonna catch him. Through they go, through Patrese's. Crosley comes up the hill, through Patrese's himself. Whilst in the distance you can now see Georgia Yeadon is about to be caught. Slater again catches her at exactly the same place on exactly the same lap. And will probably stay behind her exactly the same as he's done in the first two. He'll stay there and just make the move somewhere more comfortable for him. Because he can see that he's got a big gap back to P2. But Jordy Slater now on the back of Georgia Yeadon. Yeadon, oh, goes wide. Slater just buzzes around the outside and makes that move in Electro and through he goes. So the leader clears the back marker and heads off up into Patrese's. Clear track in front once again. Zach Phil has got to do the same again. Georgia Yeadon might get past down the back straight, I think, as Zach Phil will catch her just as they get onto the back straight now. Oh, she's gone around. Georgia, the commentator's curse, puts it around on the exit of Askins, unfortunately. So Georgia goes around. Meanwhile, the leaders come back towards us, and it is still the flyer, Jordy Slater. That will be seven laps completed. Over the line he goes. Followed by Phil. Followed by Woodsy. Finn chasing and still chasing the gap now. Three seconds to Zach Phil. Five seconds to Woodley. 13 to Menzies. 16 to Crossley. That's the gap. Meanwhile, leader back up towards me into Patrice's corner. There he goes through the hairpin. Fighting the steering wheel on the exit and fighting the steering wheel mid-corner on the apex too. Clean turn for Finn Woodley. That looked mighty clean for Finn. So he gets it all right. Menzies comes up now. What's his steering wheel like? Very clean. One move. One manoeuvre for Menzies. Very smooth indeed. Well, Slater though. This will be eight laps completed, two to go for Slater, from Phil, from Woodley, from Menzies, from Crossley, from Yeadon. That's the order as they go down into Mobile One. One more time after this one before the last lap boogie board will be shown. And through the flip-flop goes Slater, comfortably through chain break. Phil goes through. Finn Woodley goes through. 
Five seconds back to Woody now. They've opened that gap up a couple of tenths each. So they're all struggling to catch each other as Slater went faster, Woodley went faster, but so did Zach Phil, so there's no gap change. It extended very, very slightly indeed as Crosley has gotten past Georgia Eden as well, but here is the one fingerboard. It is one to go for Geordie Slater. Over the line he goes to start his final lap. Finn Woodley and Zach Phil do the same and head through Mobile One and onto DPE. Then they come back through the flip flop. Leaders then already into RHQ. Big, big lead as well, it is. Jordy Slater has absolutely had all this his own way. And now he is about to take another victory. Jordy Slater then down the back straight for the last time, heading into Force Phantom, the hairpin. He will exit Force Phantom into the JLA sweeper and give it up. The juniors, heat number three. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, give it up, Jordy Slater, second, Zach Phil, third, Finn Woodley, Ashley coming round now, round the sweeper, the JLA sweeper, give it up, four plays, give it up, Ashley Menzies, fifth place. Bang, and that steering wheel not happy with what he did. What he did. So we're unfortunately Hayden had that little bit of a, an off, and it looks like uh, has she gone off again? I think uh, George has had more dramas. Here she comes. Over. Put your hands together for Georgia. Give it up for Georgia Eden.